In the world we live in nowadays, boys and girls, sometimes life just gets stressful. Sometimes life is too much for us to handle. And I get it. Sometimes you just gotta get that release. And so People Playground is probably one of the best games at doing that for you. You wanna kill someone with electricity? Boom. You wanna kill someone with a gun? Boom. Okay, let's say for example, you got a really, really annoying grandma, like 10 times worse than my grandma. Okay, my grandma's pretty sweet, so I would hope it'd be like 10 times worse. But let's say that she's like worse, okay? And you're just so mad, you just want to strangle her, okay? Well, People Playground, that's the game for you, bro. You will be able to strangle as many grandmas as you want in your entire life. Y'all seem to really enjoy this series, so I hope that you guys will enjoy this one. How to get every single achievement in People's Playgrounds. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it, boys. Okay, at the time of recording, we've got a total of 17 achievements to complete. It's definitely not impossible. Most of these will be completed in a couple days. I took about three days to complete all of them. So, yeah, it's not hard. That being said, there are like three to four of them that are a little bit harder and do take a little bit more time just because you gotta get it pitch perfect for it to work. And if it doesn't, then, you know, you gotta restart and it takes ages. But yeah, it's not too bad, trust me. The first achievement that anyone can do and it's super easy, kill a person. Easy, right? Literally all you gotta do, either shoot them with a gun, throw them across the map at full speed, you know, shoot them with aliens, I don't care, just kill them in some way, shape, or form and you've got that achievement. Now for the second achievement, all you gotta do is add their family members, two more people, probably their f father and mother begging you to keep them alive. No, they're not, they're not, they're not living, bro. You're gonna kill them right here, right now. The next achievement on this list is you gotta kill a hundred people now. So instead of just him and his parents, now you gotta kill all of his cousins, you know, all of his long lost uncles, maybe the uncle that, you know, got him under a car and we're not. <laughs> that scared the living crap out of me, bro. I literally, I'm recording right now, right? And I'm doing the recording and I just hear, thank you so much for the follow. And I it, actually, someone Loki just followed me on Twitch right now, so. Maybe we should do a little plug here. Yeah, my Twitch link bio is gonna be in the description below if you wanna come watch me. We do a lot of fun streams here and there, so yeah, come join me. But yeah, anyway, you gotta kill 100 people. I don't care how it's done, just, just do it. These next two kinda go hand in hand with each other, not gonna lie. First one is to create a thousand objects, and the next one is to kill a thousand objects. Creating a thousand objects takes a while. By the end of it, your finger might be a little, a little cramped, a little, little, little pain. Yeah, but if you're spamming E and Q, you should be fine. Let's hope your PC can handle it and it's not like a complete potato. My PC is buff. It's a big boy. It's strong. It can handle anything you throw at it, except for exploding an atom bomb with a thousand people in it. But we're not going to talk about that. Literally get your fingers, put the thing in the middle, and then just spam. Just go EQ, 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 and you should be able to get this achievement. Yeah, for the next part of the achievement, all you got to really do is just get like an atom bomb and blow them all up this actually crashed my computer when i did it the first time that was it was funny but yeah just do those two together and you should have both these okay so far i've been giving you guys too much free reign you guys have been able to do whatever whatever you want as long as you it was killing people but these ones you actually gotta follow step by step okay i don't want any of this none of, none of this bad stuff okay the next achievement volume unclamped what you're gonna want to do right is you're gonna want to get one unlucky bloke Okay, you're gonna want to put him next to a jukebox. Okay, you can find jukebox in the search menu. You look it up, it's there. Once you've got the jukebox in, I'm also gonna want you to search up industrial generator. Okay, so you've got the person, you've got the jukebox, and you've got the industrial generator. Connect the industrial generator by a wire. Make sure it's the right wire, idiot. Don't be stupid. And once you've done that, turn on the industrial generator, turn on the jukebox, and watch the guy's face explode right in front of your face. There you go. For this next one, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need one of those little sticky grenades that goes Bee! and they stick on them and explode. You know what I'm talking about. You guys, you you feel me, you catch my drift. For the next part, you're gonna need one of those EMP explosive devices that stops any kind of thing from being triggered. And what you're gonna need to do, right, is you're gonna need to spawn another man, another unfortunate bloke. Honestly, he is kind of fortunate because he survives in it, unless you kill him afterwards, which I <laughs> 
You're gonna need to get the sticky grenade, press F to activate it, throw it on his face, stick it on him in any way, shape, or form. It could be down near his crush, it could be on his face, it doesn't really matter. And then you get the EMP, you get it up close and personal with him. Right before it explodes, whenever it hits that red little blinky bit where it's like two seconds from exploding, you press F on the EMP device and it should cancel it, stopping it, getting you the achievement. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for this next one, what were we gonna need to do? Oh, my cat, what the heck? Look at the kitty! Look! Look at it! <laughs> what? It's okay. Who's that? Who's that? Who that? He doesn't like being picked up. I'll let you down. Here you go. Anyways, back to it. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what I'm gonna need for you guys to do today, I'm gonna need you to get two bottles, the explosive orange juice, and you're also gonna need a blood container to suck up all the, the juice and then inject it into the human body. So you'll need the blood wires to connect the two together. You're gonna get another lucky bloke. Oh my god, he's gonna love himself, right? Drain it all into the blood thing, then you're gonna hook him onto it. You're gonna push all of that juice into him. It's gonna make him feel a little funny, right? All you gotta do left, pick him up, slam him on the ground, body slam him, and he goes, boom, explosion, dead, he is dead gone on this next achievement i was actually retarded enough to just look up black hole and just see if it came up on the thing like bruh no of course it's not you gotta figure out how to do it like minecraft you know you can't just type in diamonds and get diamonds so this next one as you probably could already tell is making a black hole really really simple you're just gonna need a generator and a decimator you link the generator up to the decimator with wire turn both on instant black hole just like that if that's how it is in real life, I am not prepared for what's about to happen to all of us. We're gonna die very soon. This next achievement on this list is also one of the most simplest achievements out there. All you're gonna need is one of those atom bombs. Get, get that atom bomb in here. What you're gonna wanna do once you've extracted some of that tritium, tritium, I don't know what it's called, into the blood sucker thing, right? You're gonna wanna connect a human via blood wire onto it. Easy dub. You should start radiating with energy because he loves you so much. For this next achievement, what I'm gonna want you guys to do is I'm gonna need you guys to go to the tower map. It's got, it's a tower. Yeah, yeah, it says tower on it, so you should be able to get to it. I'm gonna need you to get the tower, and I'm gonna need you to get another jukebox, and I'm also gonna need you to get one of the, the wires that extends the frequency of it. You're gonna need to get the jukebox and the metal wire. You're gonna need to put it to the left side of the tower, like the most farthest left that's still up elevated. Put the jukebox and the metal, the metal pole thing on it. You're gonna need a wire and a cable, connect them two together, and then just turn the jukebox on. You should get it. It should make like a weird, like radio hiss noise. And once you've got that, bingo. You got it. On this next achievement, you're gonna need an atom bomb, blood flask, and a water syringe. You just need to connect the atom bomb and the water syringe together into the blood flask, connect them, pull them in, drain them in together, and you should get this achievement. Really easy achievement. Okay, these next achievements that we're gonna be going into, these ones are the ones that start getting hard. They start getting a little difficult. The chip gets a little bit harder to dip. This next achievement is gonna be called inverse teleportation. And the only reason it was so difficult, you have to have it at a certain like area in order for it to work, and I didn't realize it. So I'm gonna put down a link below on how I got it personally. That's probably gonna be the easiest way. To get this achievement, for me, I did three mirrors, a laser pointer, a dampening box, one rotor, and a plank. I did it so that the rotor was at the top with the laser pointer and the dampening box. It span it around. You gotta put it at 8,000 settings. I'll put down a link below if you need like some help because this one took me quite a while to get. It was quite difficult. It'll spin, it'll start making like a after like having three mirrors bounce off of it. It'll start making like the, the wood, the plank burn. And that's how you know it's working. And then the, the portal should just pop up. Props to the guy who did it. And this next achievement right here, this is the last one that I did without any kind of external help. This one's in charted territory. And this one, this one took me a good 30 to 40 minutes to make because you gotta have the precision like exactly correct. And it just, it was just, it was just a pain in the butthole, okay? It was difficult. After you get used to it, it shouldn't be too bad. You just gotta build it the correct way. I'm gonna put another link down below on how to build it exactly. The build itself is pretty simple. It's just like two Teslas. You got four of the the proximity thingies. I don't know what they're called. They like they eject like this like weird liquid bubble. Yeah, yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about. 
and then you've also got the, the generator and you you link them all together with wires cables you have like a little bit of suspension to keep them together you gotta have like it exactly precise or it will break it'll explode just follow it like to the t because if you don't follow it to the t you're not gonna get it the last three here we go boys so all three of these achievements that i did i had an auto clicker to do it because i wasn't gonna sit there for like an hour straight just spamming eq eq so what i did right is i went to steam workshop I've got some more links below. I know, I know. There's a lot of links in this video. There's two links, all right? You've got the death counter one, and you've got the incident kill, like genocide. You're going to want to download both of those, enable them, and install an auto clicker at the same time. Once you have all three of those all set up together, you're going to want to obviously set the auto clicker, do E or Q, right? Make sure that the thing's set up, right? Because it's going to instantly kill anything that's spawned in your world, okay? So you spawn it in, and... You just sit there. You wait like it took me about 30 to 40 minutes altogether. So you'll just sit there. You'll just wait. Hopefully your computer doesn't crash. If it's a, if it's a potato, it probably will crash. But if you got a big boy beast computer, I would say around like every 10 minutes, reset it, like clear everything. That way your computer makes sure like not to crash. There will be a counter at the bottom that will show you when you get to a million. And it's not exactly accurate. By the end of it, I was getting like a thousand kills per one kill because of how laggy it was. So. That's kind of a bonus to it. Oh yeah, this is also for the other one as well, the 100,000 one, because they're part of the same thing. I just auto-clicker for both. both. For the last achievement, Pacifist, you're going to have to hold your nerve for a good hour. And you're just going to have to sit there and not kill an entire NPC. I don't entirely know for sure if you can kill robots or not, but I didn't take the risk and do it. I just went ahead installed the auto clicker and then i just spawned a car every two seconds so i was I, I was off i was i was in my own little world you know i'm probably on my phone sitting around doing nothing because i didn't want to just sit there but as long as you have an auto clicker clicking it for you it won't reset but if you just sit there on the game it'll like after five minutes it'll claim that you're afk and you won't be able to get the achievement from it again if you have an auto clicker it's like oh he's still there he's 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 playing the game he's just being an idiot a retard for the entire hour that's how i did it personally but if you want to go out ahead and explore do some cool little things go ahead do it go to your heart's content as long as you don't kill anyone for an hour and there you have it ladies and gentlemen how to get every single achievement and people's playground i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you did make sure to give that uh, bell icon a little bit of crescent too make it scream in your face uh, I'm gonna pretend I didn't say that. Uh, this was Lemon Milk. Appreciate all the, the fan service that I've been getting recently. Uh, I've got a couple of links down below if you want to go check out some other stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. Mwah. Love you guys. Peace out, besties.